it's an old idea that has come to the forefront. We have always had patients who are too elderly, too frail, or for reasons of their own choosing, do not want to receive chemotherapy uh, for tumors that may be too large to be removed by surgery, or um, that if they had treatment um, before the surgery, it might shrink the tumor and make it easier to remove so that instead of a mastectomy, they might be able to have a lumpectomy. And chemotherapy was originally um, the first um, way we could give what we call systemic or total body therapy. But for certain patients in the very beginning, it was found that chemotherapy didn't work very well. Um, and that was a group of patients with invasive lobular cancer. And we have now come to learn that when we have um, divided breast cancer into different subtypes, the luminal A, uh, this is a subtype that responds to deprivation of estrogen more than giving chemotherapy because it's not a fast growing tumor. And chemotherapy works best on fast growing tumors. So for this uh, subset of patients, not just invasive lobular, um, even the invasive ductals, uh, there is a group that is um, what we say driven or requires estrogen to grow, but it grows at a very slow rate.